is it, man? Fuck me. Don't foul, don't foul. Oh, fucking good Edison. Welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here at uh, Russia Olympic after tonight's 2 0 defeat for the Diamonds, and I'm here with man of the match, Sam Brown. Sam, um, I thought the team gave a really good effort tonight, but it just wasn't to be, was it? Yeah, I think we played well, we created chances, um, just made a couple of sloppy mistakes at the back, um, and it's cost us, and their keepers pulled off a few good saves, but I think we played positively, tried to get the ball down. Um, pitch weren't too bad, so it allowed us to do that, but yeah, it just wasn't our day. And uh, how do you like playing uh, on the uh, left hand side of midfield? Better than sitting on the bench. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's different. I've played there a few times before in my youth days, so it's a bit, it's a bit different. I like seeing the play, um, but you just do what I've got to do. So. And you had an early chance, didn't you? You got in well on the long ball, and uh, you had an early chance there. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, Billy just pinged it over the top and tried to get in behind, but it's fair there. Uh, centre back got back well and uh, cleared it away. But, yeah. And the first goal, a good header, or we just switched off? Bit of both. I think any header from that sort of distance is you've got to be a decent header, but you shouldn't be allowed that much time in the box. Um, sort of early on, so yeah, it was disappointing to concede from a set piece, um, but yeah, it was a good header. And of course, the killer punch was just before half time. We thought he was offside, and uh, obviously, he finished it well. Yeah, it was a good finish. Ben probably got caught in two minds, um, but yeah, it's the worst time to concede when we're sort of pushing on, trying to get that equaliser. Um, the last thing you want to do is concede just before half time. And, yeah, it sort of knocks us out, but I thought the lads came back well second half, but uh, yeah, couldn't get their goal. And even before that, actually before after their goal, we, we had a couple of good chances, the keeper pulled off a couple of good saves. Yeah, I think Diamond missed one, the keeper uh, pulled off some good saves, and I think if we stick one of them away, we'd probably go on to win the game, so it's just one of them, that second goal probably sort of killed it a bit. And uh, I think as the longer went on, I think we were beginning to think he was never going to get the goal tonight, was it? Yeah, I think we could still be there now, we probably still wouldn't score, it was just their keeper pulled off a few good saves, a few... Uh, dodgy sort of decisions um, when we thought it was corners, goal kick and stuff like that but um, yeah it was just one of those days I think. 
I think uh, the, the team's obviously done really well this season. Two defeats, obviously people is a bit. People might be negative, but we should be negative. We've still got a few games left, and uh, we can still get in it. And we need a market on Saturday. We need a win. Yeah, I think if you if you'd have said at this time of the season or at the start of the season that we'd have a chance of the playoffs, now I think we'd have taken it straight away. So obviously it's disappointing to lose two on the bounce, but. I think there's a lot of teams losing, dropping points around us, so we've just got to try and bounce back as well as we can. We've got nine games to go, so we've just got to get the, get the most amount of points we can from there. All right, so I'm going to let you go. It's a cold night. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Thank you, guys. Cheers, mate. Well, thank you, Sam and John. And again, the scoreline here at uh, Dale's Lane, Rush All Olympic 2, AFC Russian Diamonds nil. I'm with the manager, Andy Peaks, and uh, Andy's been a tough, uh, tough uh, couple of road games here for Diamonds Saturday and now this mo rare Monday evening for Diamonds. Yeah, we knew that was going to be tough games, didn't we? So uh, in the first half, uh, it started off uh, sort of even Steven, but then uh, Hall for, uh, for uh, rush all sort of uh, flips the ball in there. It's uh, sort of not uh, the kind of defense you want from the back four and the goalkeeper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I thought first half, attacking wise, we were good. I thought defensively we, we weren't good enough. Um, like I said, it was, it was too easy a goal. One ball into the box, first attempt of that goal is a goal. Um, that's not like us, that was disappointing. Um, I thought we did well up until half time then. The goal has made some saves, we got in some good areas, um, played some good stuff I thought up the, up the hill against the wind. Um, and then again we've switched off and they've scored a second just before half time. Ooh, that second goal especially uh, is a long lob and uh, Heath just couldn't do anything about it. That's a tough way to give up a goal, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Ben was disappointed with that and we were disappointed with the first goal. We were disappointed with both goals we've conceded. Um, and in general play, I thought we were pretty good first half. Um, but when you give goals away, it makes it doubly difficult. I still fancied us at half time to get them back in the game because I thought we'd create enough chances to do that. I hope you don't mind, but I'll ask, what did you tell the lads at halftime? I said to keep the belief, um, because if we got one, we'd get two and get three. And I honestly did believe that, um, and I thought we threatened a lot second half, and I would say that goalkeeper's made more saves tonight than a goalkeeper has against us for a long while. So oh. for me, that tells me we're creating chances. And you brought on some substitutes in the second half, uh, Tom Lorraine and uh, Declan Rogers, and then finally got the, the young lad Ben Aquai in yeah. uh, late second half. Were you impressed with their play? Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought most people did well tonight as attacking force. I thought we did really well without scoring, um, which is bizarre as how football can be. Um, but yeah, we got in good areas and say the goal has made saves. Things just not quite dropped for us. We won loads of flick-ons and not got the seconds. Um, but yeah, we, we, we lost these at home and they dominated us that day in the middle of the park and won all the first and second balls. They didn't do that today. I was pleased with how we reacted. I was pleased with the performance. Obviously disappointed with the result. And the old cliche, uh, I guess you'd have to say Rush All Olympic, a bogey team uh, for well, Diamonds this season. Well, <laughs> obviously they have been because they've beat us twice, so yeah, you would say that. 2-0 <laughs> two, two both times. But it'll be nice to get back into the friendly confines of Hayden Road, Saturday afternoon, need a market. Yeah, I want to win a game of football for us. I'm not yeah. bothered it's home or away to be okay. I'm not sure if it's a Monday or a Saturday. I just want to get back to winning. You know that. Of course, we got eight games to go, four home, four away. You fancy our chances to make the playoffs? Or Yeah, of course. Yeah, if we play like we did tonight and create the chance we did and defend a bit better, absolutely. All right, well, thanks for your time, Andy. Cheers, bro. I don't need love.